Okay, okay, okay. Um, do you have anything to say more about pit bulls? I have do we still care about this? Pitbull puppy. It's pretty. That's a puppy though. It's not fair. Everything. But the adorable first one that I puppy. showed you was wasn't a puppy. All right, whatever. This is a new episode. Pitbull. All right, fine. Fine. The, the pitbulls are fucking adorable. Okay, you got me. Yeah, I know. I know they are. Do you want to know why I know? Because I went to the pounding every day to look at animals, and every dog available was a pitbull mix, and they were all super cute, except one named Diesel, and he was a little scary looking. <laughs> <laughs> named D Diesel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was still cute, but he was just like really, he just looked really powerful, and I don't think I can handle that. I, I don't think I can handle a dog with a better musculature than me. Okay, great. Um, <clears throat> I don't, like this, this is a neat level. This level is to the rest of the levels as... Uh, and, and it's got, it wraps like as this. As Portal 2 is to Portal in that it feels like you're in the back like you're like behind the scenes of the levels you go behind the scenes in portal one but not as often you spend like almost the entire time in the behind the scenes of portal sure two, don't you i really need to replay portal two god damn that's a good game nicole has a sealed copy of portal two i was like you did this so wrong you know how you're talking about how uh she's like just not in the mood to play uh, to watch anime uh-huh uh megan wants to play all these games but she's also just never in the mood to play Games. Yeah. So it's like, I really want to play Portal 1. It's like, okay, let's go to my house to play some Portal. And she's like, not in the mood today. It's weird. I, could, I, I start to suspect that... Fuck. That she's like, not... It just doesn't want to do it. But she told me she wanted to. Like, I didn't say, do you want to play Portal? She was like, I want to play Portal so bad. You guys should... I... You gonna play Portal 2 co-op? Probably, yeah. Or we could do that. Because, I don't know. It sounds like Nicole doesn't want to. I'll play it, probably, maybe. I don't know. Because you've never done it, right? I did. I, I've done the first few levels. I know all these people that have never played fucking Portal 2 co-op. No one wants to do it with me. I mean, I've done it before. It's too bad she has the 360 version, which I think between... I also have the 360 version. Between 360, PS3, and Steam, I'm pretty sure... The 360, 360 is the version that didn't get any of like the additional co-op campaigns. Man, Valve really went like total reversal with their like console of choice stuff yeah because because sony campaigned yeah hard they they gave we, them the we talked about this in a in a car podcast earlier like the way that sony can just so easily turn everybody's opinion by making actually good decisions yeah i mean yeah like i said i wouldn't say it was easily but you know like well i mean they actually they did it yeah it's like um Nintendo's been making really bad decisions and, then, and just, then done a really bad job of, of apologizing for them. Microsoft is making really bad decisions, but has made up for it by by basically consistently putting out good stuff. Nintendo, Yeah, Nintendo's just fucking up crazily. We were talking in the podcast we just recorded, we were talking about the whole, like, not allowing Melee to be streamed at Evo. and Yeah, and then wanting, wanting just not, not wanting Melee to even be played, which doesn't even make sense. Like it's not even it's not an it's not just only a, is it a thing they could not even remotely control. Yeah. I just want to know who was in charge of that decision. Ugh. Like who was it? Someone really it high up? Could that not, it could not. Could it have been someone like super like who just barely had the I, authority? I think it was. I think whoever that person I saw on Twitter, I think is totally right that it was a move from Nintendo of Japan. Because who? At Nintendo of America, seeing the way people are currently responding to what Nintendo is doing in America could possibly have thought that that was a good idea. I can like, tell you it wasn't Reggie. I can tell you that. Right it, oh, it certainly wasn't fucking Reggie. <laughs> he's not about He's not about taking games out of He's only there... I don't know if you know this. Reggie's in charge of two things at Nintendo. Kicking ass and making games. Nice. And they're all out of bubblegum. Well, um... You know, he might not be very good at this. Huh? Me? He might not be very good at those? What are you talking about? That's, uh, I think you're mixing your ass-kicking jokes. No, I think that was the... I think there was just one. I love, that little, I love that little flower guy. No, I hate those, those, fish, those that little worst. Fish head. You guys are fuckers. 
I've seen all these blocks, Kyle. I'm seeing these blocks in this game. I just want to play Cube World. Cube World. God damn that I, game. I need to. I'm gonna play Cube World. Yeah. Is it like you said? It looks good. Is it like system intensive? No. Okay, good. Because right now I really only have my laptop. You have these right here. Well, right now. Yeah. I mean, you might have to scale back the draw distance a little bit, but. Oh. Hey. All right. This one. Fuck. No, it's the one over. All right. Where's the matching one for this one? Um, down into. No, I don't know. We saw the other one for that though. Go up one, and then here. No, one over. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Nailed it. Urgh. You did pretty good. Thanks. No. Yeah, I'm. I'm sure your laptop could run that. Can you? Have you played any other games on your laptop? Uh, World of Warcraft. Borderlands 2. Oh, yeah. I, I, I played Borderlands 2 on the lowest possible settings. Why did you play Borderlands 2? Uh, because Borderlands 2 had come out. Oh, okay. I thought this was, like, recently. No. It, you know what? I'm even thinking it might not have even, like, the game might have crashed or not played right or something, but it was functional and... So it's around there. I'm sure that if you can kind of play Borderlands 2 oh, on your PC, fuck. you can play a game made up of voxels. I messed up. This level has a thing where um, there's a block at the very beginning with a power star in it. And if you... And then throughout the level, there's there are stars. more power stars that only appear if you're already under the influence of a power star. Yeah. So you can, like, chain them together. Which, you know how, um... Like this. Miyamoto basically, like, the way he... The way he makes his games is... He, he takes things from his life, particularly his childhood. Uh, every, uh, he's on record saying that the star is based on his experience with the LSD. So... Thanks for the most obvious joke ever. God. Is it? I think so. Just the star? I mean, people people are like, Oh, Mario, What's that's this? like... That game's like What's, drugs. What's this? I don't, I don't know. I fucked up. Yeah. Um, I realized we hadn't really mentioned any of, uh, like, the development story of of Mario 3 in the same way that we had for the other games. But that's mostly because I don't really think there is much of a story other than I yeah, think... Let's uh, make a good game. I think uh, Miyamoto had been really disappointed with the reception of Super Mario Bros. 2 Japan and really wanted to... Step up his game. Step up his game. Did you hear the things that he had been saying about um, Pikmin 3? No. Yeah, he's been saying, like, uh, like yeah, I really think that Pikmin 3 is an amazing game. And I know that, like, like I've someone was like, do you have you made bad games? Like, oh, yeah, I've made bad games. I think Pikmin 3 is a great game. Okay. Like, Pikmin, he was like, Pikmin 3 is the Pikmin that I've wanted to have made awesome. all along. I'm so excited for Pikmin 3. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play some of that here because I, I don't have a Wii U. Mm-hmm. Hey! Hey! I think I should get one life for getting one that's all different ones. So you think you should get one life for getting it as wrong as possible? <laughs> yep. <laughs> like a pity, pity up? That's my story, <laughs> and I'm sticking to it. But, um, this was... I think for a number of years, Super Mario Bros. 3 was the best-selling game of all time that was not a pack-in. I think that might have been for like 10 years or something. Wow, that's really impressive. Do you know what it became after that? Probably some Call of Duty game. It might have been like Mist, if that counts. No, Mist, Mist didn't come out 10 years after this game. You're right. It was like 6 years less than that even, I think. Uh-oh, am I stuck in here? Nope. Okay. This is another weird one. Oh, Ugh. gotta go down. What was that noise? That was the, uh... 
It was the sound of that mushroom coming out of the block, like, repeated a billion oh. times. Why'd you close that one up? Good question. I guess just so I don't go down it accidentally. But you could have just gone up it. Oh no, you couldn't have. Right? I don't know. Man, this song is putting that that Group X acapella Mario shit in my head. Oh, okay. Do you remember that? Group X. I forgot that's what they were called. Yeah. It's called Mario Queens. They look the same. I heard that one of your one of your friends showed you that on the same day that they also showed you an acapella rendition of Freebird done by the the drummer of Fish. What? Do you not remember that? No. They did an acapella version of Freebird where they sang the solo. Huh. Yeah. It's very it's I Why didn't you play I, that last night when I requested Freebird? I didn't have it. I kind of assumed I, s I requested Freebird just, that I would actually just to do it, but I assumed that you probably had some kind of silly version of Freebird to play. I do have it, just not on that computer at that time. Okay. And I, I did also have the actual Freebird. I, I Keith, Keith was on Twitch uh, playing music last night. Yeah, playing which games is, and then music. Which is not the intended use of Twitch. Or the or the appropriate uh, agreed-upon use of Twitch. I'm there sure you go. that... I'm sure that there's some rule explicitly saying not to do that. After all, Twitch is just the video game arm of Justin TV. Um, yeah, I played I played Civ Five, and then I played Star Wars Republic Commando. Um, well, how, what do you? What are your current thoughts on Republic Commando? Pro. But like, in what way? Because I remember like. You would always talk about it like it was the greatest game ever made, and then you finally played it a couple months ago, and you, you at least at the very end, your response was like, wow, this is like, not how I remember it. And I was like, yeah, I, I thought it wouldn't be. Is that how it was? Yeah. I don't know, I played it today, and I was like, this game's great. Alright. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's, it's pretty challenging, it's a very challenging game, in a way that's kind of bullshit sometimes. Like, just how many fucking hits dudes will take. Like, I spent, like, a full, probably a hundred rounds trying to take down a oh, super battle droid. Shit. Um, but the way... Did like, I get it? I don't know. Oh! There's, some, there's just some really awesome peripheral stuff in that game. Like, you, your melee is a wrist blade comes out, and you punch droids in the face, and they get their droid goop on your thing, and you've got, a like, an automated, like, visor cleaner that swipes across your screen, and... Like stuff like that, and the way that you hold your pistol, like, like, kind of a little bit to the side. I also don't like that the shooting doesn't feel good. I think that the shooting feels all right. All right. Um. Yeah, I like that game a lot. It is definitely a good first-person shooter. Okay. I love the. I the enjoyed modular it. Guns. I enjoyed it, but I was also like when I got to the end. I was not disappointed that there was not more of it. Yeah, but there are great games where that's the case. Sure. There are great games that I don't even want to finish. Yeah. Case in point, any game by, uh, uh... I fucking knew you were going to say that. I was just waiting for the uh, words to come out of your mouth. Rockstar. Rockstar, there, yeah. Any Rockstar game. They're all great, and I don't want to finish any of them. I finished most of them. Ironically, all the Rockstar games I haven't finished are m usually the ones that aren't obscenely long, like Max Payne. Well, that's not a... That was published by Rockstar, wasn't it? Wait, was it even... Was the first one even published by Rockstar? Uh, the first one was not published by Rockstar. The second one was, and the third one was developed and published by Rockstar. Okay, right. So they. I knew, I knew the going. third one was developed by Rockstar. But I knew the first two were... Which I didn't finish. I didn't finish the third one. I bought the third one on yours and Miguel's recommendation. Yeah. Uh, never played it. Still haven't. Uh, you bought me Spec Ops the Line. I still haven't played it. Dude, you gotta play that. You'll really like it. Probably. Just, um, the thing I would say about Spec Ops to anybody who's gonna play Spec Ops, and 
I realize that this is a shitty thing to say. It's not a sh it's not a long game though, but like you got to get to the end of Spec Ops. Bef like not, you know, like I don't want to oversell it like it's some like mind blowing like you're it's gonna you're gonna get to end of Spec Ops. It's gonna blow your fucking mind. But it's hard to It's gonna blow your mind. It's gonna rock your dick. It's hard to be entirely informed about Spec Ops the line if you have not completed it. I don't know. That, so, that some more than like others. The request of like, dude, you gotta watch this show. I know. But it doesn't I know. get good till the 15th episode. I, I know. But you gotta watch. But you first. did. You did say that to me about like Doctor Who though. Yeah, but I like the first 15 episodes. I just or the first yeah. season, so it's 14 episodes. Not not that Spec Ops the line is as good as Doctor Who. I warned you that you might not like the first because it's just super. Yeah. Uh, well, it was it camp. Yeah. It was. Like you said, you have to watch Doctor Who, but you gotta get to the second season. Yeah. Ah, oh, why didn't I just get the uh, mushroom? What do you get if you get three mushrooms? I think like two lives. Okay. I think it's the same as the roulette thing. Like two, three, and five. I think is how it goes. Oh, this one. Okay. Um... This is World 7, right? Yeah. yeah. So the thing about this level is that you can use this level to farm lives. Oh, yeah? Yep. On purpose, or is this a, uh, like, not a thing? What are you, what are are you, you asking Are you supposed me? to be doing this? I don't think you're ever supposed to be doing it when you're farming infinite lives out of a game. I thought maybe it was a point where, like, hey, give them a secret area where they can farm ah, lives. Ah, fuck. Maybe. Who knows? I don't know. I don't it's, know what goes on in that guy's head. It's more. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I just have to remember like the root of how to play this level. Okay, maybe I just go this way. You know what I really no, like no, okay. in this in this song? I'm on record as saying that I don't like it. Uh -huh. It's a different song already. But like the dun, 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 dun. at the very end, there's two bass drums like boom boom. Yeah, I think those are cool. Those are nice. Oh, I remember. Okay. I got this. I think I just go in here and then just go back in. Tanuki suit. Wait. Oh, wait. Okay. No, the Tanuki suit is somewhere else. I already knew that this was a fire. I'm stupid. And in what way are you farming infinite lives? I will show. I'll show you when we get there. You look like Luigi. Mario looks like Luigi there. Where am I going? I don't remember. Grr. When Mario runs with his arms out like that, like no one ever would. He Except crazy. Sonic. No, Sonic runs with his arms flailing behind him because he's running so quickly that his arm, his arm muscles can't handle it. He's just running with his arms oh, flared. God, I can't remember how to what this level is. He's driving me crazy. I know it's not complicated. Maybe you gotta go up there. I guess pipe. I just go to that pipe, man. This might not be the part that you're thinking it is. There we go. Oh, wait. What the fuck? Seriously? Are we running out of time? Uh huh. What the hell? How does this part work? Ugh. Kyle forgot how to Mario. Forgot how to Mario, bro. He, he diglet now. Dude, I so diglet now. Diglet though, Mario. Is it like... What the hell? Man. Fuck. Shit, man. Or is there just like a secret door? Wanna look it up? I don't... I didn't need to look it up last time. I feel like if there was a secret door, they'd, they'd kind of telegraph it somehow. Hey! Or not. All or right. absolutely not. This is how you get infinite lives in this level. 
you just run around and collect coins until you run out of time. But by the time you run out of time, you've already gotten way more than a single life. Good thing you only have this many seconds. Five. Oh! Oh, one, man! One away. That's bullshit. Yeah. I mean, it's... You were trying to farm infinite lives. All right, so I think... Do you want to just do this a couple times and then... Yeah, I think I'm gonna... You're gonna get me. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna turn the fucking air conditioner on in this room. It's not that bad in here. I mean, it's warm for sure, but it's not... It's not atrocious, but we could do with some cooler air. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we'll take a break and I'll do this a few times and then we'll... Alright. Whatever. Okay. Hey, you got Mario Kart 7? Uh, yeah, it came pre-inst in my DS. Oh, yeah, because I can't... You don't want that. Yeah, I can't, like, lend it to you or anything. Because we're living in the digital future, the Nintendo digital future, where there's no game lending. Yeah. I can't believe that the first time that I ever wanted to borrow a game from you, and you said, no, it's digital, was a Nintendo game. <laughs> <laughs> Should tweet that. There might be too many characters. Have you tried uh, Rogue Legacy yet? Not yet. I'm. Really good too. I I will. I've decided that since the Steam Summer Sale is happening, um, it's 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 already on sale. So I, I for a second I was like, oh, I'll just buy it. But then I figured since I wasn't gonna play it that second, I might as well at least wait until I want to play it in case it goes on Mega Sale before that. Yeah. I mean, it is, it is, like, such a popular thing at this point that it probably will. Like, it'll probably be, like, a huge drop thing. Yeah, it's just a lot of fun. Alright, we're back after a break. Yep. I've collected some lives. That's good. You've got... Wow, what? Yeah. Dude. Did you get bored of doing that? Hella fucking bored of doing that. You want some of this? I'll try a sip. Red Bull Red Edition, Cranberry Red Bull. I like it. No one else does. Yeah, dude, this is to totally tastes more like medicine than the regular Red Bull. You're fucking stupid and crazy. Something about the flavor it makes it taste like... Specifically Robitussin. This one not as bad as the other one. I like this more than I like blue. Red is better than blue. If this tastes like Robitussin, Robitussin's fucking delicious. The blue one tastes like Robitussin. That one tastes kind of like Robitussin. That one's more like Benadryl. I am, I am very familiar with Benadryl. By the way, if you need... <laughs> if you don't like sleep aids, Benadryl. Shit. <laughs> that stuff not... Seriously, I... I can't take Benadryl because of how drowsy it makes me. Huh. Even the no even non drowsy Benadryl. That's funny. Yeah. Hear about Z Quill? Z Quill, that's the NyQuil sleep aid. It's yeah. not for colds, it's just for sleep. Just for sleep. That's their that's their slogan. It's not for colds, it's just for sleep. I'm pretty sure that's like exactly the slogan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was being <laughs> I was being serious. That's their slogan. Nice. I think they're just like, hey, everyone keeps taking this shit to go to sleep. Yeah, and that's dangerous. Yeah. So let's just take out... But, of course, people are still going to buy NyQuil because, like, what if I get a cold? I already have a prescription sleep aid that doesn't work very well. So I'll, I'm going to I'm tr I'm gonna try it. But when, they're, when they say it's, like, over-the-counter and non-habit forming, I'm like... Pfft. Dude, you should try... Well, it's got... It's got like any histamine. Oh, check this out. It's probably it's probably ah! nice. 
It's like the, the earth shakes when you let loose the tanuki. <laughs> you should, uh, you should try. It's probably got, like, antihistamines and alcohol in it. That's probably what it is. All right. My two favorite things. I mean, that's what, that's what is in NyQuil. Yeah. That makes people so sleepy. But try, there we go. Do you have Benadryl around the house? Try taking one or two like things of Benadryl. Uh, 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 What's wrong? Finally, first time in like four years, I finally remembered. That was easy. Thank you. What was easy? The just the thing I just did, like the flying up and the 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 last time I tried flying up to get to that pipe, it was hard to find the pipe and get in there, but this time I got my first try. Explain to me differences uh, gameplay-wise between Tanuki Suit and Raccoon Suit. Tanuki Suit can turn into a, a stone that makes Mario Oh, warm. right. Yeah. Ha! Fuck yes. Oh. It's, no, it's that middle one there. It's the mid yeah, that. Down the corner? Nope. Oh, there's another one in the corner, too. No, not that. Talk about stars in the corner. Whoa. Whoa. That was so weird. I got out of the matching game thing, mm -hmm. immediately spawned beneath me, and I'm back in. That's so weird. Corner stars. Ta da! What is happening? Are we just locked in some kind of nightmare? Super Mario Brothers match game, whether you like it or not. What if the next time it happens and it's... What is going on? Oh, no. <laughs> if we need to reset the game because it won't stop spawning these Let, things... Let's just take a break, then. Or let's, I mean, move on to a different game. Move on to a different game? Yeah, like, I mean, we come back to this, but if we have to move on to another game, let's just do this, finish Mario next time. What if it's somehow based on, like, how many extra lives you got recently, and I have to do this, like, 74 times? I think Do you, you want me to Google it? You should look up what causes these to spawn, because, oh god. I'm also not even bothering to use my memory at this point. Okay. Alright, never mind. No, never mind. I want to look it up anyway. Alright. I'm just gonna Google. Now, now I feel bad for just wasting those last one, like, in a panic of just, like, not paying attention, because I I could have really used that to my advantage if I had been paying attention. Endless Match Game SMB3. That's my... Endless Match Game. That's my favorite uh, television game show, actually. Endless Match Game. It's my favorite post-punk emo band. Their hit song, Life Is Not Enough. You should have... Would have been death is not enough. No. That's fine. Death is enough. I think that I think that sounds like a better emo song title. What? Death is not enough. Yeah. So this pops out these little things that change direction when I jump on them. <laughs> Shut it, did it, did it. Ah, fuck. God, when do you I get lost... that suit back? Never. Never? I don't know. Sometime, I guess. Whoops. Do you know what happens to me every time that I start singing the along with the song now? Uh, uh, no. I remember recording on like Twitch with Phil and him talking about when when people sing along with games and songs, he he shuts off the let's play. I'm like, oh no, Phil hates this. I don't want to bother. It's, Phil. it's super annoying. I know, but I can't help it. And I never, I don't do it for that long. It's like a couple notes here and there. True. Oh, that was it? Went all that way for a coin? Fuck. Yeah, cheated. Why that why did it fall? What happened? I think I hit the thing. I 
like Mario bumped his head and the entire thing was like, forget it. One kid on the roller coaster started crying and the operator stopped it. To be fair, kids should not be on roller coasters. Yeah, but if they are, they asked for it. <sighs> you mean like they literally asked for it? Sure. Why'd you do what? that? I don't know. What are you doing to yourself? I don't know. This level is hard. No, you just go up to the top. How? You just bounce on that thing again. How? Go up on that one that goes over. I can't. This one only goes over. It doesn't... You can't jump on it it goes up? Nope. That's weird. Why is that? Because this is a one that only goes over. Some of them are only... Sing they, they have a single direction. Like this one. Jump on that. Huh. The ones with the exclamation marks are the... Oh, yeah. Okay. There you go. Herp. What are we stupid? Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, oh uh, oh oh! Nice. No oh, no okay. Shit. Ah man. Can I try? You're running out of time. Yeah. No, you can't try. You can burn in hell. Man. Whatever. You had three seconds left, and that's how you died? <laughs> Was that an optional thing? I don't really know. I don't know how the root of this world works. This crazy world we're in. Oh, you're just right here again. I thought you, you were, like, at the end of a level. Nope. Okay. Well, then I'm stupid. I'm glad you finally realized I'm that. I'm a fucking idiot. Um, you sent me a link to that article about the rumored, uh, self-publishing to appear on Xbox One. Yes. I had heard that rumor. Not impressed? It's good. It's a good thing. Yeah, it is a good thing. I had not heard that rumor. That was the first I was hearing of it. I just... Jump. I don't understand what Microsoft is is was doing slash is do i don't get your shit together guys come on i want one of the consoles to give me a better reason to be a either more for or more against them i am really interested in the uh playstation 4 no, no, I'm not really interested in the PlayStation 4. I mean, I think there's a good chance it will be the console to own, if for no other reason than the fact that that's the one everyone else is excited about, which means that's the one everyone's going to buy, but which can't. means that's the one all the games are going to be made for, because it's the one that everyone will have. Can you tell me why everyone's excited for it? Because I... No DRM! It's cheaper. It's like $100 cheaper. A hundred dollars, Keith? That's so much money. That's like... That's like... Oh my... It's like if I, I went to all work of, for a day. All I know is that if you told me... If you told me a couple months ago, like, Xbox is gonna be a hundred dollars more expensive, but it's gonna come with a Kinect, I would have been like, Fuck you. I don't want that. And then I saw that Wired thing where they went through and showed all that cool Kinect stuff and how accurate it can be. Uh, and how many things it can track at once. Now I was like, yeah, I'd pay like a hundred bucks. For I'm that. interested in all the um, all the cloud stuff for the. Yeah, that too. And like how it essentially allows like every game on the system to have dedicated servers and stuff. Like that shit is awesome. And I want the system that Titanfall's gonna be on. 
Yeah. I'm play that game. Hell yeah. That is Xbox exclusive. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that game looks sick. That game looks way more like Halo than it looks like Call of Duty, though. I just di really I, I disagree. Me. Really? I mean, like maybe visually, because it's a sci-fi game, it vaguely resembles Halo. But I thought the, that visually, the entire like, like the way the game looks like it moves screams Call of Duty to me. I I felt like I felt like it's closer to Call of Duty. I mean, I, I felt like it's closer to Halo ah! Four than it is to like the current Modern Warfare games. I don't know. It's way faster than Halo, uh, but it's also faster than Call of Duty. Sure, but Call of Duty is like the standard, the gold standard for fast first-person shooters right now. I mean, FPSs used to be way faster, but yeah. Halo Halo Four was pretty fast. Halo Four was as fast as Call of Duty, I think. Am I wrong? Mm, maybe, maybe it is. Yeah, you're right. You're probably right. Man, Call um, Halo Four was fucking a good game. Yeah, I'm like so close to playing Halo more Halo Four. If you want to join, me. Right, we'll do that. All right. We're gonna yes, we will right. do that. Fucking come on, man! <laughs> uh, you got it. We should um. I here's what we should do. Tell me. Um. Ah, fuck. Tell oh me what man! We're doing. I just realized that's. I was gonna suggest a thing that it's not. Technically feasible. What? Um, with our current like setup. But I was gonna say we should play Halo 4 and we should uh, stream it and we should be over Skype and we should get like a bunch of other people to play with us. That's feasible. Like who's that guy that's always Sarge McD? He's like always down for Halo. Yeah. Seer played with us that one time. Played with me. Mm -hmm. But then I remembered that I'm not gonna be near. A computer good enough to stream um, just be. and you would be um, because you have your the computer that's at your mom's house yeah my computer but uh, the capture card isn't in it right so um, yeah man I wish I think that there's shit I wish I was in a position to spend a ton of money on video equipment, because we could totally, now that we have computers that, or at least now that I have a computer that has USB 3, I could get one of those... I've got the USB 3. I know. You had one, but I didn't. Oh, okay. We could get, like, a USB 3. I thought you were deriding me in my USB 2 ass. No. I was like, I got... I got that real shit. Ah! It was, uh, there was the Blackmagic... The reason we got the Blackmagic Intensity Pro, which is an internal, uh, capture card... Is was because we made a mistake. Instead of the Blackmagic Intensity Shuttle, which is the same thing, but it's an, an external enclosure. thing. Cause it's because it's USB 3 only, and at the time I didn't have USB 3, and then like two months later I got one. That sucks. Couldn't you have gotten like a like an external USB 3 thing? Tomorrow? Um... No, no that's because like my motherboard just didn't have. Oh, your motherboard didn't support it. Yeah. Okay. Because I know that some motherboards don't have it, but they do support it still. Yeah, I think like I got my last motherboard that I had. I think I got it like right as USB three was had like just come out, so it was only on like the really high end things. I've got it. I've seriously got to get a new tower for my computer. Like, my, my computer is incredible, but the case that it's in is broken as hell. Like, I have to open it up and short the power switch just to turn it on. And one of the case fans isn't working. And, like, the, oh. the, the front two USB things that I have don't work. And the... Uh, the secondary audio input that I have on top doesn't work. Oh, yes. Let's do this. This is a thing that we should do right now. Come on.
Does it not come out when you're standing on it? No, that's never been. That's always been a Mario thing, is that they don't come out when you're standing on them. Really? They don't come out when you're standing next to them. Uh, or they they didn't in Mario 1, I think was the thing. I thought if you stood on it, it would come out and hurt you. Nope. What? Is it maybe... Maybe in Mario Land? Mm, maybe, yeah. Because, like, of all the Marios, I'm most familiar with Mario Yeah, Mar Land. and Mario Land is fucking weird. Mario Land's so good. That seems like some fucking bullshit that would be in Mario Land. Ah, f why do you, Why do you even need to do that? Because he's going to be shooting fireballs at me while I'm trying to do my business over here. Son of a bitch. This game's pretty good. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> yeah. This game sucks. <laughs> that was, I'd never seen that. And if I did, I forgot about it. I'm sure I just forgot about it. We're pretty close to. Oh, we're not even. We're not close to the end. Never mind. We're close to the end of the second to last world. Yeah. But then there's two worlds. Worlds take a long time. No, there's one. Well, there's only nine worlds. there's only ever eight in Mario, sir. Tanuki. I oh, I do know. It's only eight ever. I don't know. There's like a hidden ninth world in Mario Two, Japan Japanese version. If you beat it all in like one go without continuing. You know what? That's the only way I ever played that game. So maybe that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> I did that. Uh, in the Lost World, lo or Lost Levels version in the Mario All-Stars. Nice. But you're fucking real proud of yourself. I was real proud of myself. I've beaten that game yeah, with both Luigi were. and Mario. Very impressive. It's shit. Ah, fuck you. God. The block disappeared right before I used it. That's unfortunate. You should, uh, run to the end. Just go. Sprint. No, that's something a jackass like you would do. What? That's what you're doing. You're doing it right now. But I'm not doing it with reckless abandon. I didn't say do it with a reckless abandon. I just said do it. Oh, fuck. And there was reckless ab abandon implied. I, I know that. This is exactly what I meant for you to do. Ah, uh, what do you know? I know that you're being a dick right now. You're, you're being, being a real, dick right now. You're being a real piece of dick. No, you are. God. This is why I'm going to replace you with Andy now that Andy's back. Hey, guys, Andy's back. Yeah, what the fuck? Remember he was moving to Louisiana? He's back. Did Do you know the story yet? No. Did you ask him? I think he... He said that it was a long story that involved him making poor decisions and sadness. I believe the poor decisions and the sadness were related. Probably. What do you think, if you had to guess? Uh, I have some guesses that might not be appropriate to talk about uh, in this uh, venue. Did he fuck a kid? <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you why are you ratting on him in this recording? Dude, you're supposed to be his bro, man. You're just putting it out there. Uh <laughs> probably probably that wasn't it. Was he did he have a job out there? Yeah, he was a teacher. A yeah, high that's what I teacher. thought. He but he has a job here too. I think he works at like Starbucks or something. Okay. Because he came back and we were trying to get him to record, and he's been back for like a, he was back for like a week at that point, maybe less. Do you know how long he was back when you found out he was back? I don't know. Because we tried to get him to record, and he was already busy for eight straight days. Yeah. He, um, I had already been thinking about playing XCOM. Uh-huh. But he, uh, instead of being like, hey, I'm back... 
He initiated the conversation by just asking me for advice in XCOM. <laughs> he's just like, how do I do this? And he's like, well... Did, how how did he make it sound like he was in the same area? I think he just he, never would have texted you? I think after I we talked about XCOM for like half a second, he was like, by the way, I'm in Lexington again. Oh, okay. Do you think that just Andy doesn't but then, know how to talk or feel, so but he then, pretended like he needed XCOM help? To, just to tell you that... Uh, yeah, he probably also needed XCOM help. Yeah. So it's like a kid was like a kill bird, two birds with one stone? Yeah. That's probably what he got kicked out of Louisiana for, was killing birds. That makes sense. He hates I birds. That makes sense, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Ah, oh, fuck, there's more. Oh, man. This is fucked up. That was even more fucked up. What's fucked up? This situation here. Look at this. Jump on that guy right now. Right now. Do it now. I know. I'm going to. It was that part that I was talking about. Oh. With the... Fuck. Go! Nailed it. You're probably pretty close to the end at this point. Yeah, there you go. Ah, fuck. Those guys could not be easier. No, they couldn't. They literally could not be easier. No. There is no mechanical way to make them easier. Someone needs help in that castle. Oh, this sh shit is gonna suck. I just go, just run. That's not... Just sprint. Aw, oh, man. Fuck. That was really rough. Why would they do that to you? Why are they continuing to do this to you? Miyamoto-san, why? What? I see that his head is clearing it. I saw. Alright, let's, uh... Sorry, let's... you got 70 lives. Yeah, but I wanted those for World 8. I'm sure... 69 lives now. Wow! My brother! My br <laughs> nice. There we go. Ooh. Alright. Sure. I'll take it. Yeah. You don't take it. I take it. Ah. The king was turned into a piranha plant. I like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I've been, I've been playing a lot of... Um, also... Uh, what's up? I only have access to my PS3 right now, mm -hmm. but one of the recent uh, free games on PS3 uh, PlayStation Plus was XCOM. They so, gave that away for free? Yep. That game is really good for free. Uh, yeah, they give out, like, they also give out, like, Uncharted 3. Like, for they're, free? Yeah, they're kind of... What are they doing? Dude, PlayStation Plus pretty fucking good. Yeah. I I've mean, also been had to be, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, um, what option do they have? How long <laughs> before uh, three months of no internet connection at all uh, oh. did PlayStation Plus came out? Come out. Uh, it came out. No, it was before. It was like yeah, I said it how was, long before? Oh, I think like a few months or something. And it was like part of their. Oh shit. That's was the wrong place to go to. Yeah. Um, part of their like we're sorry to everybody was they gave everybody a free month of PlayStation Plus. Mm -hmm. But PlayStation Plus only works if it you continue like, yeah, to subscribe. So it was like, oh, you gave us a promo for your new service. Yeah. Thanks. They also gave out free games, though. But they were all like... But they were only if you had the PlayStation Plus, right? No, no, no. It, they were just legitimately free games. Okay. You got to, like, choose, like, two... It was like... I think they gave... It was, there was, like, a list of PS3 games that you could choose two from, and then you could choose one... PSP game, or I forget how it worked. 
It was one of those things where they, it, like, it was a lot of, they were all well-received, highly regarded games, but they were also all games that had already sold incredibly well and had sequels coming out. Right. So, you know, it was like you got, like, Infamous right as Infamous 2 was coming out. There was Little Big Planet right as the Little Big Planet 2 was coming out. So it was still, like, even then was not entirely generous. Well, they've come a long way in terms of people appreciating them again. <laughs> yeah. PlayStation Plus is pretty cool, though, man. Yeah. Oh, I don't think we ever got to talking about, like, what are but, the games that people are super pumped for for PlayStation 4? Because I swear to God, I did not see them. Well, like Watch Dogs, Destiny. Is Watch Dogs not uh, Xbox One? It's both. Yeah, I'm talking about I'm talking about exclusives. Exclusives? Yeah. Well, like nothing really, but there aren't really any Xbox One exclusives that people are super excited about, go, except besides Titanfall. Titanfall. Uh, I saw Halo. It looks really cool. Um, well, we didn't really see anything of Halo. I mean, I know Halo is really cool. Yeah. There's Halo that's, on that system. That's Yeah. Like, I know I'm going to get an Xbox One because I'm going to play Halo 5, so that's right. going to happen. Or whatever Halo they call this new one. Halo 5. They said that probably not. Oh. Did you not hear that? It's going to be Halo 5. Yeah? Okay. I trust you. <laughs> Barely. Listen, I know Halo, right? Yeah. Why would they not call it Halo something? I don't know. They were like, yeah, we're going to make this like its own trilogy. Especially... Thing. Yeah, no, it's its own trilogy. But like just like Halo 1, 2, 3 was a trilogy, Halo 4, 5, 6 will be a trilogy. Yeah, I don't know. So if you're... Yeah, it'll definitely be caught. Especially like if it's going to be the first next-gen Halo. You know, like the first next-gen after this gen. Yeah, like not they're not going to... Yeah, they're certainly not going to call it like Halo 4 colon something. I mean, they could just call it like Halo... Ugh. Halo, then a word. Halo Dragon's Fire. They're gonna call it Halo 5. Halo... Halo Spit. Ha Halo Spit. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be really excited to play Halo Spit. Ha Fuck. Halo... Hail... 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 Maelstrom. We... Do we get Andy back in to play more Halo 2? Yeah. We could do that. Cause that's still in the can. Oh, yeah, we recorded Halo 2. I forgot. Yeah. We also recorded Digimon. No, we didn't. No? We did that for like we did that for like 20 minutes, and then we stopped, because we didn't know what we were doing, and I was exhausted, and it was terrible. No, we did it for like an hour. Also, the Digimon thread got archived, and I don't think we're going to be playing more Digimon. You got archived? Yeah. No. Oh. Well. I feel bad, because people wanted it, and I wanted to do it, but I don't know. Clearly... Clearly, we're having enough trouble getting Mario videos out. That, well, eh. we're is a stretch. <sighs> we we are having trouble is not a ah. whole truth. <sighs> One of us is having trouble. If if I had handed these files over to you for you to do it, it would have taken you two months of trying to figure out what the fuck you were doing before it came out. No, I'm pretty good with learning, like languages like that I was I I mean when I learned it's not the language that's the trick it's just shit it I thought I think it is the language that's the trick right not really like trying to figure out how to turn that language into usable video editing right mmm yeah, I guess so I guess in a way I guess what I mean is it's not like the syntax that's the difficult part but there's a lot of, like... Tips and tricks? Yeah. Specifically with these NES games and Super Nintendo games, there's, like, a big... Big for us, anyways. Not actually big. But there's, like, a big script that I run the video through to make it not shitty. I mean, if you just gave me the script. I like, think this that's... This is the script that you do then when this happens. That's uh, Ludwig von Koopa. Ludwig von Koopa. So he's, like, a... Like, a really great pianist. Penis. <laughs> what? It sounded like you said penis. No, it's just how that word's pronounced. <laughs> uh, I hear you, buddy. Yeah. How excited are you about Forza 5 Drivatars, though? Am I right? Dude, couldn't even begin to tell you how excited. 
God, what a fucking dumbass word. What are they called? Drivatars? Drivatars. Someone said that? Someone got paid to say Drivatar? Like multiple times on stage in front of millions of people, they said Drivatar. Why can't they just say Avatar? Uh, because they drive. The Drivatars are their word for, um, like Driving they. Avatars. No, they record. A car they, that's also they record. Guitar. They record like the way that you drive. They they record your, whatever your, races, and then they process them in the cloud, when you're not playing, and it it turns like, it kind of assesses the way that you drive in the game and turns it into an AI profile that's then downloaded to like your friends machines and stuff. So I think it might even be automatic that you're supposed to be like as you're playing when you go into races, instead of regular, just like, regularly programmed AI, you'll be racing against all these AI profiles that were generated from real people's driving. Well, first of all, that sounds awesome. It, yeah, Second it's, of all, it's the cool. It's drive a yeah. fucking Fuck worse. off! Did you just God, fall through I hate that these thing? fucking things. They're w useless. They're whack. Dude, fucking mad whack. They're mad whack. God. Do you still, speaking of whack, do you still listen to uh, the Yo Is This Racist podcast? No. No? Is there a reason? Oops. I thought the fire wouldn't come out if I stood there. No, I just don't listen to a lot of podcasts anymore right now. I've That's, been listening to it again. I, it's all I can do to keep up with Giant Bomb, really. Um... So, that, that guy, Andrew T... B uh, by the way, uh, I've missed the last few Giant Bomb podcasts. Anything important happen? Well... Okay. Yeah, no, we, ta we talked about this already. We're not, we're not being insensitive, I don't think. Yeah. Um... Nobody was more insensitive than Ryan Davis. Come on. That's he would have wanted it this way. Yeah. Um... Was it? Oh, yeah, but... So they give, they give, that guy gives really good advice in terms of, like, knowing when something is or is not, uh, bad. But, oh, yeah. man, like, every, I feel like every fucking episode, and I, I, I don't listen to all of them, but every fucking episode. Are you gonna episode, say there's at least one time where you disagree with them? No, 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 he just, like, constantly forgets what the question is. Oh, really? So, like, the person will come in and be like... Like, hey, my friends are doing this thing. Is that racist? And then they'll be talking about it, and then they'll start, like, yelling at the callers. Like, so stop doing this, you fucking racist. I'm like, no, he's not. What are you guys talking about? That's or, like, funny. they'll talk about something for ten minutes, and they'll be like, I don't even remember what the fucking question was. <laughs> like, you've been doing this for over a year, right? Just... Yeah, I think so, yeah. It's, like, just consistently them not remembering is driving me fucking insane. Can't drag? I guess if you want to. I'll, I mean, the window for like when you can jump on those things is so small. I mean, let's let's see how a, a real pro can do. Oh, you gotta jump every time. You yeah. Don't bounce. I see. No, you don't bounce. Okay. I thought that what was happening was you were glitching through it. No. Um. Hey, did you see any of the like? Okay, here you go. Yeah, I told you. Um, I I saw that in the time in the time between um, when I last played XCOM Enemy Unknown and now, mm -hmm. they patched in a new set of options when you're creating a new game called Second Wave. Um, have you heard about these? Wait, say start over. There's they they added a new feature to XCOM Enemy Unknown at some point between when it came out and now. Yeah. Uh, it's called Second Wave, and it adds a bunch of uh, additional options for when you're when you're starting a new game. You know, like how there was Iron Man? Yeah. You could turn on and off. Now there's like four other things. Oh, that's cool. Um, there's, there's one that randomizes damage more um, instead of it always being set. There's one that like randomizes accuracy more. Then there are two that sound kind of crazy, which is that... Um, all that uh, units will have randomized stats when they're created instead of all being the same. Huh. And 
I believe, unless it was talking about a specific stat or something, but like the the different classes will level up. Like their stats will increase as they rank up. Uh-huh. And there is a perk that will make them increase randomly. Like, so you might level up, and but their stats don't increase at all, and they might level up and they might really increase a lot. That sounds insane. Yeah. So I played, um, I played a standard classic Iron Man for a while until it started to get really hard and I started to really not be doing well. How far in was that? Like a month and a half. <laughs> like a month and a half. Really? Like, I, I did well for a little while. Like, it was kind of tough. I was basically progressing well. So Iron Man, it's the exact same thing, but you can't reload saves, right? Right, but it's also classic difficulty, which is the one above normal. And it's a big jump yeah. from classic to, from normal to classic. Normal rather. is already pretty hard. Yeah. It's not, it is not a super Fuck hard game. Off. Uh, like people said it was, but it's, it's harder than most games. Sure, it's demanding. It is. Um, I had been progressing at a rate of losing one squad member per per level per whatever the fuck mission uh-huh. uh which was okay like the game classifies it as good huh. instead of excellent um but then i got to a point where um i think i got to like the first um The first mission where, like, those jetpack enemies show up that, like, Those teleport around, suck. they fucking suck. And I, it was something like that, or somewhere around there, and I ended up losing every single one of my squad members that wasn't a rookie. Like, wow. all, like, I... Any, so anybody worth it? Yeah, like, anybody who had a... Because I took them, like, all on one mission. Because, because things have been going fine so far, and then things w did not go fine. And then now I just have rookies, and the missions are just get already getting harder. And it's, yeah, it kind of became a bummer. It kind of felt, it, it started to feel unfair at a point. So, I think, I mean, I think that's what they were going for. Yeah. So then I switched to, uh, now I'm playing a normal difficulty Iron Man run with all of the second wave options turned on. All of them? Yeah. Wow. And that's been going. Yeah, I probably would have well. started normal difficulty Iron Man if you're going Iron Man, because it's already a jump. Is it no well, loading at all? No loading at all, or is it you can't reload in missions? Iron Man is no reloading at all. It, it, it's auto saving everything that you do, and you can't like just anything that happens is instantly permanent. There's no going back whatsoever. Huh. That's what Iron Man is. Dick. Suck a turtle, dude. Did you jump up to catch that, or did he do that automatically? I jumped up to catch it. Sweet jump. That's World 7 down. There's only one left. That's oh, look at this dude's beard. Yeah, he's got a sick beard. Look and at his mustache. wavy, flabby cartoon mustache. And his butthole mouth. That's a nose. No, it was a no, no. He was when he was flapping his oh, mustache. Okay. His, his butthole mouth. Yo, I, I kidnapped the princess while you were running around. She's here in my castle. If you dare to try and rescue her, ha ha ha! King of the Koopa. <laughs> 